Welcome to Denali Weld. My name is Zach. I'm one of the technical engineers here at Denali. We are a laser welding manufacturer based out of Elgin, Illinois, and we're currently assembling our machines at this facility. At Denali, we like employing welders. This means that when we walk into your facility, we know what applications to look for and what machine is going to fit for you. Me, myself, and almost all my colleagues have been welders most of our lives, and because of that, we can say made by welders, sold welders. This here is our 3000 watt unit. It inherits some of the styling of our 2024 models. It's gonna have a bright yellow and black finish, powder coat finish. This really can stand up to time and is really scratch resistant, that resistant, those types of things. Um, as well as that, we do have some casters here on the bottom. So overall, this machine is gonna be very easy to use, easy to relocate, and overall, it's a great package. The operation panel is highly consistent with the previous versions with a touch screen that's easy to operate and intuitive. Front panel is equipped with an emergency stop and a three three color light that indicates the machine status. Green machine green means the machine is normal and on standby. Yellow for the laser in operation and red for an alarm. The difference in the 2025 model is the pre-installed with a remote module. Now you can use your phone, tablet, or computer to remotely operate the machine. This only works with Android and Windows systems. You no longer need to walk to the machine every time you need to operate it, and this system allows you to set equipment parameters in a safe area. When working at height or in the office, this can be a lot more convenient and improves efficiency and safety. On the back of the machine are quick connect plugs for electrical, gas, safety door, and other things like that. It is worth mentioning that all Denali Weld models are equipped with a quick connect cobot or robot signal interface and a mode conversion switch. Just connect the cobot robot signal line and flip the switch upwards and the machine will automatically switch over into the remote mode. Each machine comes equipped with a laser welding protective helmet and a auto darkening shade. This is to ensure the safety of the user's eyes and to allow them comfortable welding for long hours. Along with that, the machine also comes with a laser welding jacket. This jacket is pretty typical for welding, but it has a special silver lining and this liner will protect you from the small amount of radiation that comes off the laser. This means that to get going, all you need to do is have a pair of welding gloves and you'll be good to go. One thing I wanted to mention about our Denali machines here is that we always overpower our laser sources. You may ask why or what is that, and I'll explain it to you. So over time, these laser sources are gonna lose a little bit of power. The average is about one to 1.5% each year. So multiple years down the road after using the machine very hard, you might find that it's not outputting the same amount of power that it did previously. Now with our machines, like I said, we overpower our source. So whether it's five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 years down the road, when you need that full 2000 watts, you're getting that full 2000 watts. And we can show you by different tests by showing that even at 2000, our machine it may read, you know, 2100, 2200, things like that. And because of that, it'll allow you to get full power no matter what time frame you're using the machine. Along with that, I just want to go over some updated things on this machine. Um, we updated our chiller. It's our own patented independent cooling system. It's all compartmentalized as well. And what does that mean? It allows for easy, quick repairs for customers and it's very easy to access and you get into. So worst case, for some reason we needed to, we can take this whole chiller out, no problem, slide it out, pop a new one in. And like I said, it allows for quick repairs and get to the machine back to the customer as soon as possible. Along with that, because of the large chillers on these machines, it allows them to continuously run for four to eight hours. On our air-cooled models, it allows them to continuously run for about four hours. And on our water-cooled, they will continuously run for about eight hours. So 100% duty cycle on these, no interruptions, and you can weld all day long having no issues. On the new machine, we have built-in temperature sensors in the laser head. This protects the lens and can also monitor the temperature of the welding head in real time. What this means is if the temperature rises too high, the machine will stop working and it will give a reminder to the operator that it is time to change the protective lens. This will prevent the operator from causing any further damage to the protective lens and maybe even worse, burning up a focus or reflective lens. The new 2025 CR series expands the previous 32 sets of welding parameters. This allows us to now go up to 120 different materials, different thicknesses, and preset parameters for fuse welding, single wire, and dual wire welding. Each parameter is tested by a third-party laboratory in accordance with AWS welding standards to ensure the quality of welding. Just wanted to go over some of the electrical components as well. The system was developed by Denali Weld and uses name brand parts from ABB, Schneider, IDEC of Japan, and as well as some gas components from AirTech. This maintains a consistent high standard of quality and allows for endless use on the machine with very minimal error. On top of that, we've added a new gas sensor to these machines. 
The sensor will monitor your flow rate and make sure that your lenses stay cool. This coincides with those other temperature sensors that were added into the machine to make sure that your protective, focus, reflective, and QBH lens all stay cool and operate properly. Lastly, we just wanted to go over our wire feeder. Each machine comes standard with a single wire feeder, but larger models like the three and 4,000 watt can be recommended to use a dual wire feeder. The dual wire feeder can use two spools of welding wire at the same time and allows you to get a larger, wider weldment. This may be more sought after in certain industries like structural steel or maybe even other industries like automotive. The single wire mainly focuses on a smaller weld with deeper penetration. This is because there is only one wire and it allows the laser to put more heat into the part and dig a little bit deeper, allowing for better penetration depth. In general, what you'll see here in our 2025 water-cooled lineup of the Nolly series, we've updated our 3000 watt machine to go directly into your 480 volt power source. Along with that, we keep our 2000 watt and 3000 watts in stock at this facility, but that doesn't mean that we can't custom build you a machine whether it be 1200 watt, 1500 watt, we can get you something that will fit your needs. Along with that, our 2000 watt will do about a quarter inch thickness. Our 3000 watt here will do about three eighths thickness. And we're currently we're developing our 4000 watt, which will do up to about half an inch. And you'll get to see that in some later videos. Feel free to keep up with our YouTube. It'll give you all the latest information that you need. And along with that, feel free to check out the website, www.denaliwald.com. You can get the number on the website to call. We can give you all the information you need, whether it be a quote, Weld up some parts for you. Anything, we got you covered. Hope to see you guys next time. Thank you.